Alright, welcome guys and girls to my new amp ranking ever since update 1.0 they added some new amps and also for the first time did the split thing so split it into tools, skills and medicine. I'm gonna go all over them and just rank them on how I see them fit right now. And overall do a comparison ranking. I won't go as in-depth as I've done in the other ranking that I did way back when in update 4 during early access. I will do a more in-depth one once again when new amps come out. But I still want to have a video out right now just talking a little bit about it. So yeah, let's go into it a little bit. Slippers, starting a tool, slippers is still decent. There was a time where it was broken where you just completely ignore glass. Now it's just if you walk or crouch you ignore broken glass. As you get better in the game you tend to jump over it or vault over it or whatever. But in specific scenarios where for example you are in the dark and hiding from an enemy and you need to step on glass you will be very thankful for this. Or for example if you carry acid for example and destroy the evidence or courthouse you also can just ignore the glass altogether with this amp which is really nice it's still really really decent cacophony uh, bricks and bottles are noisier making them better distractions for enemies this is niche it is okay ish and it is really nice to just throw a bottle across a room and the enemies are getting distracted from it further away since hyperfixation is something that exists. Check out my 10 essential outlast trials tips video if you want to know what hyperfixation is. But it just is as long as enemies investigate sounds, they don't hear any other noise you make. So if you can throw that further away and enemies are attracted to that from further away and take more distance to get there, that's obviously really helpful if you need to get some objectives out of the way that are loud and you know take a bit of time you get the extra time niche but it's still decent i would say noise reduction has not changed and it is the most broken amp in the game right now basically right now if you are running you do two bars of noise also my camera turned blurry for a sec again for some reason you do two bars of noise if you're running so obviously enemies are more attracted to you as if you were doing one bar of noise which you would do for just walking and basically with noise reduction you only do one bar with running so it is really really strong and makes running very stealthily now mind you in something new like where is it program ultra right here in uh, stuff like ultra Enemies are more aware as is, but then you can imagine if you don't run noise reduction in Ultra, they are even more aware. So noise reduction is the most broken amp in the game right now. I don't know if they will ever change it. I would uh, advertise for doing so because it's just so much above everything else in this category, but if it stays that way, then it stays that way. If you're running this... Just know you're playing a completely different game than the rest of the people, in my opinion at least. Battery charger, the night vision battery gradually recharges when not in use. Unfortunately, there is a prescription right now in level 2 where this does not matter, like night vision does not matter. And there are also a lot of other abilities like for example the stun rig or x-ray that passively recharges your night vision. And there are also a shitload of batteries just everywhere, either from rigged doors or just lying around. So the battery recharge mechanic is not that well handled right now, so this is pretty eh. This is, this is not really good up into trash territory. It might change if they adjust the battery stuff in the future, but for now it's pretty, uh. Then lock breaker. Basically you can throw bricks to break open lock containers. I don't know actually if they fixed it, so you can use bricks indefinitely and it counts as like hitting the environment. I don't know that actually. Either way though, it's not really that useful because locked containers aren't really that useful overall. Yes, you can get adrenalines out of them and rig each other sometimes, but otherwise you just get recovery items mostly like health, 
batteries and so on and so forth and the better you get in the game the less you will need that stuff as i mentioned just now with battery charger as you get the upgrades battery life doesn't really matter a whole lot so why would you ever go for mechanical boxes except if you are hoping for quick chargers and even then quick chargers aren't even that necessary a whole lot of the time so I don't know about that one. For that, to fix that, you will need to adjust the container mechanic. I've talked about this before. Either make new doors that also needs lock picking where you can use this on, or you invent new boxes where there can be utility items and then like bricks and bottles. Either two of these solutions would fix it, in my opinion. Recycle used health bottles will become throwable items. This is nice now It requires you to take damage and the better you go You kind of want to avoid that but getting bottles also from the Secret room five health bottle like you get a free bottle from that like bottles are one of the strongest items in the game so it is still nice for that but the but the getting injured like requirement is not that optimal. So I would say right here in the tool category is kind of middle-ish of the road. It is very nice to get extra bottles because again bottles are some of the strongest items in the game. But requiring you to injure yourself to make use of it uh, not really that optimal. I mean optimal in the sense that is not really that, uh, it's hard to use, let's put it that way. Keymaster lockpicking guarantees success in the first try and each lockpick has two uses. Cute, same problem as lockbreaker though. Lock container aren't really that useful right now, so it is whatever most of the times, but yeah. Still nice to have, again, I hope they advance on the lockpick mechanic eventually. And backpack, expand your inventory by one slot. This is nice, obviously, to have a fifth inventory slot, a fourth inventory slot in Ultra. But until they invent new variators where your item, like your inventory is limited to, let's say, two slots, like directly limited to two slots, I don't think this will get much use because... Four inventory slots, in my opinion, is already more than enough. And I think having a fifth inventory slot most of the time is complete overkill, in my opinion. So, while I think this is good and this is fine as is, it's not really that, you know, it's not that insane. So, yeah, S going through the two category, probably the strongest, obviously, noise reduction. But, yeah, then you can also go for this, like something like slippers and backpack and some other niche stuff here and there. But, yeah, it's mostly dominated by noise reduction, unfortunately. I would love for them to change it eventually, but, yeah, that's where we're standing right now. Looking over at skill, Hide and Breathe has got a massive buff ever since update 1.0. Besides recovering exhaustion in hiding spots, you can also get an adrenaline boost, which is really, really nice. Now, the problem is, right now, that stamina and exhaustion works kind of weirdly right now. I made a video about that just recently, about the new exhaustion problem, that the exhaustion recovers so fast that you don't even want to worry about the stamina mechanic. But, let's say that gets fixed. A pocket adrenaline on hiding spot triggers on a, I think it's around 60 second ish cooldown. It's really decent and really nice. So it's definitely one of the stronger ones in skills, surprisingly. Because previously, before the 1.0 update, this was the worst amp in the game. So I'm really happy and pleasantly surprised that they managed to, you know, rework it and make it very useful right now. Hide and Heal is fine. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's basically if you're in a hiding spot, you heal one bracket of health. And if you have like half a bracket of health, you, you immediately become recovering your health. It's the same deal with the the more better you get, the less you're gonna get injured. So it is whatever. It is nice. And right now... You don't have a whole lot of one shots, so you are not just getting bitch slapped left and right and then you wouldn't get value out of it because you are dead anyways, but 
it's fine. I know a lot of people like using it, so I feel a bit bad at shit talking it, but yeah. It is not. it is fine, nice. Maybe around middle ish of the road in the skill tree, but it is whatever. Hide and restore. Enter hiding spot restores your weak cooldown 50% faster. This has some interesting utilities, for example, the stun rig, which is really strong right now. You can recover a stun rig in 60 seconds if you use it for a stun, and if you use it as a distract item, you can recover it in 15 seconds. Same goes for something like heal rig, the blind mine, if you wanna, you know, replace it real quick like hide and restore has a lot of good uses in my opinion so i think it's really good and depending on what type of wig we get in summer like again in the roadmap it was announced that we will get a new wig depending on what type of wig it is this will get even stronger so yeah really decent and nice what is not so really decent and nice is quick escape ever since the update you stumble a lot more when you're getting hit by re enemies randomly, you like get hit and then you have like a 1 to 2 second animation where you're just still stumbling and catching a grasp or whatever the fuck. And this made this a lot worse. A lot worse. Like I think it lasts normally for 5 seconds and gives you like 25% movement speed. But a lot of the seconds are already cut off from you still stumbling from the attack, so yeah. I would not recommend running this this current patch. I know it's a very popular speedrun amp, like a lot of speedrunners like using it, obviously. But this update right now, I would not use it, because right now with the stumbling and all that shit, it's, not, it's really not that good. Invisible, enemies can't find you in a hiding spot even if you peek. Now, normally enemies can't fight you in a hiding spot to begin with, but if you peek, they you know, always see you and then grab you out. With this, you can stay in hiding spots. There is one good utility of this, and this is waiting for the conveyor belts in Toy Factory. Now, right now, as I'm doing this video, the conveyor belt skip has not been fixed yet where you can glitch boxes through the doors. This will probably get fixed soonish, but until then, like, until then, you just do the conveyor belt skip if you want to be efficient, and then this has, doesn't have that much utility, but once you have to actually wait for the conveyor belts and you have a hiding spot right next to it, you can just peek and just wait it out and just peek f freely. Also, it is pretty funny to use, for example, with the heal rig and troll people when you spray them from a hiding spot. Because now with the healing wick you can use it in a hiding spot and you just spray the gas on them. It is pretty funny for that, but yeah, it's it's not that good though, all things considered. It is not that good. It would be fine if you could maybe synergize this with some of the other hiding spot arms, but since they're all in the same skill tree, you cannot, so this is not that good. It is fun for some gimmicks, but other than that, not really that good. Door trap breaker, door traps shut up when doors are open normally, if open slowly, the trap disarms itself. It is nice that the trap disarms itself like instantly, once you start opening the door slowly, it like disarms itself instantly, you don't have to open that all the way. But door traps are not a threat right now, at all. You just crouch open the doors, and that's it. That's literally how you count it. As cute as it is for gimmick amp. It's not good. It's not good at all because door traps are just not a threat right now. And even if you're getting caught, especially if you have the prescription level 3 to break yourself free from the door traps, it, you don't get gassed anyway. So door traps are just a non-issue and running an amp to counter a non-issue is not really that good. Smash, break doors or planks in a single strike. This sounds OP, but it is not in my opinion. It is unironically a very good stealth perk, because if you bash things open with two hits, what can happen is an enemy hears you, turns around and initiates chase because they see you, and if you just bash it open with one, with one strike, you can just go in faster and be more stealthy, funnily enough. 
but from actual value, you know, the comparison to bash something open between two hits and one hit, it's not that different. The bigger difference is three to two hits. Three hits, you are more likely to get hit by a lot of things. Two hits, not really, even if they are almost right next to you. And two to one hit is barely any difference, mind you, in my opinion. The heavy lifting of this is done by the prescriptions here, so... While it is fun for the stealth part, and I can definitely acknowledge that Smash is strong, it is not overpowered at all. I don't think it is overpowered at all, so yeah. Run if you want to. It is it is really fun to use, it's really fun to just break shit down with one hit. But in my opinion, it's not overpowered. Like, the biggest part which would make it overpowered, already did two hits. And you know, no longer depleting stamina while bashing and all these prescriptions do the heavy lifting here so yeah strong ups is interesting because it's actually an amp that has a downside you basically stun small enemies for a very long time 15 seconds which is insane but bricks only have one use now bricks have two uses if you don't use this so you actually have a trait to think of and I think Strong Arms is still very good and one of the strongest, you know, because it's called Strong Arms, ha 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 ha, it's one of the strongest amps in skill, but in my opinion, for something like Kortos, for example, with the Witnesses, I now prefer not running it and having two uses on the bricks of the Witness because I just lure the Witness and position myself well and, you know, deal with them that way instead of you know having only one brick use but having the guaranteed kill which by the way you can check out the witness guide if you wanna know about the witness positioning stuff just throwing that out there but yeah and it's still very good obviously to greet some objectives in enemies face but the downside now that you can only use it once really makes it in, creates an interesting decision making that you have to make and in my opinion a lot of the times I would much rather prefer having two brick uses again for the witness for example instead of one use only but it is like an insane use so yeah ranking the skill ones obviously strong arm smash nice high and breeze is also nice again has a problem right now where you know it is the problem that the stamina thing is so whack right now, but other than that, yeah, that's why I'm going at. And some gimmicks again here and there, like Titan Restore is really nice, but that's about it. Looking at the last category, Medicine. Double Doses, worst amp in the game right now. O multiplayer only, and there are a lot of doses anywhere on the map anyways. You don't need this most of the time, so... It is literally whatever. Antitoxin, same, I mean not really same problem, but the, uh, like the whole sanity mechanic is not really that good right now. Like sanity is more abusable than anything. It is really nice if you just want to have a short sanity cycle if you want to abuse it, but right now sanity is not a threat if it becomes more of a threat then this will become more useful but right now it's more abusable than anything because enemies just ignore you while you are full mad so yeah it is whatever not really that good surplus is nice because you have a 50 50 chance to uh, get a really good item at the start of the trial a brick and a bottle if you get these they are really really nice you can also get an antidote uh, health thing which is not that good but i mean if you then get damage or so or lose sanity you just have that free item to help yourself with so that's also really nice really nice amp and i preferred for speed running to get a brick and bottle to clutch me some stuff here and there Really fun to use also just for the gamble mechanic. <laughs> last chance. The last enemy strike reduces your health to 1 HP instead of causing death once every 5 minutes. This has unironically really fallen from grace ever since last update for two reasons. One, once again, a good synergy was quick escape and quick escape is not good right now. And two, there are no one shots right now. 
there's no deadly primer set and there's no increase to a 2 this patch. It will probably change again, but right now there are just no one shots. So it has fallen a bit from grace, but I you you know that this is good. Like cheating death in this game is obviously really good. I don't have to tell you that much, but yeah. I also think it's not really OP because the better you get at the game the less you will need something like this but it is really really nice and hopefully once quick escape gets fixed and you know we will see more watch shots again this will be way better again incognito which was previously nightcrawler your crouch working speed is enhanced nothing much else to say it is pretty significant it works in light it works in dark good shit good shit Overall, just very decent, which I have noticed in this category, there's a lot of uh, stuff, which for example, Good Job is one of them. Good Job is so bad right now. Basically, it only triggers when you complete an assignment, so when it says like, new assignment, get to the snitch or something like that, every time that pops up and you finish one of these assignments, it triggers, it has a cooldown of 60 seconds for some reason. Mind you, assignment in, for example, MK challenges, you only get like one assignment. So then you can only trigger it once. And you only get one bracket of health. This is like bad. This is downright bad. And at, very, at the very least, either remove the cooldown or make it full health. Full heal. You have really strong amps right here in the game. I don't know why you don't, you know, make this stronger. Like, there's no reason to restrict it that much. Now, mind you, obviously, if you get all the poses, you also get, like, the, the thing triggered. But still, it is, it is fucking garbage. It is really, really bad. Boosted, you get a secret room item when starting the trial. So, either the... 5,000 thing, the Omega battery, or the Stamina Syringe thing. Same deal as with Surplus. I still prefer Surplus personally, because I get more value out of a potential brick or bottle than I would, for example, with the Stamina Syringe. But this is still fire. This is absolute fire to just, you know, get yourself started. And this enables some really fun speedrunning, where normally in some scenarios, for example, in the Farewell Mansion, you would have the Stamina Syringe, but now you have because of the amp, and this is really fun. It is really fun to use. And last but not least, Self Revive, Resurrect After Death, Once Per Trial. And ironically, it is very strong, but... It's same thing. It's the same thing with last chance. Like you just get killed and you stand up again with full health. It might be a bit overtuned and strong and whatever, and it might need some downside. Like let's say you only resurrect with half health or something like that. But honestly, whatever. It's again one of these amps that the better you get, the no use will you will get out of it. So. And the thing is, especially once stuff like Quick Escape and the, all the stuff get fixed, Last Chance would just simply be better, alone for the fact you can trigger Last Chance every 5 minutes. So, there's that. But yeah, Ending Medicine, the um, random item things are really nice. Obviously, Last Chance and Self Revive are really nice, but other than that, like Incognito is also fine, but the other stuff is just really eh. Like overall medicine category is pretty yeah. but yeah, that's about the amps. I just wanted to make a quick ish video just going over them. Maybe this like this video is more sent for new players if you just want to start out and just see what is good right now or what you want to go for and what some of the amps do. Again, I'm sorry I'm not going too in depth in it. I will do it with the next time we will do this again with the next update like the summer one where we get new amps again i will probably go in depth more into that again but yeah either way if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more outlast trials content in your future and yeah other than that have a great rest of your day and take care everyone bye bye